All right, exclamation everybody. Welcome to Galaxy on Fire 2 Full HD. This is the Steam version of Galaxy on Fire. I, I have never played the Galaxy on Fire games at all. I played just a tiny bit of this one. Uh, not uh, not enough to really get into it. Um, but uh, I went back and tried to find the Galaxy on Fire 1 and it turns out that that was only available for iOS and not being the uh, being the Apple uh, general Apple hater that I am uh, I have no desire to actually try to find a way to get that to work so instead we're gonna pick up with Galaxy on Fire 2 hopefully there's not too many references in here that I won't get um, but anyway uh, I did get a request to do this as a as a series so Let's go for it, shall we? Might as well do it as a series and also stream it on Mixer here. So let me just get my see if I can get my microphone at a, a spot where it makes the most sense for me. Okay, start a new game, and we'll do normal mode. Why not? Thirty-five ninety-eight A.D. Darius asteroid belt. An asteroid belt. Perfect hiding place for pirates. Now, where are those pirates? In the asteroid belt. Where else would they be? <laughs> what are we going to do, boss? This guy will be chasing us forever. That's Maxwell. Stubborn as hell. He's after the bounty on our heads. Quiet now. Engines off and await my command. And pay no attention to my weirdly drawn mouth. We'll let him pass by and attack him from behind. Totally not some kind of weird zombie guy. Or now, come back from the dead. <laughs> okay, yeah. there they are. You're gonna attack me, eh? Well, let's just see about that. Control a spaceship with the mouse keyboard or gamepad. F mouse button fires primary, middle mouse button switches the mouse between the ship and the operational controls. Press the rocket button. Okay. There's a button to target, guys. So that'd be kind of nice. I don't think I've found one yet. These guys are going down without any problems. Get your world rocked! Uh, where did this guy go? Oh, there you are. How would you like to get shot? You wouldn't like it at all, huh? Tough nuggies. If I were paying myself, I would give myself a raise. Hyperdrive. Here, play me some music. Something jazzy. They must have hit the engines. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't hit anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any hits. This is not the jazz music I asked for. <laughs> Damn, I'm almost showing some emotion. Malfunction in the hyperdrive engine. Life support system damaged. Oxygen supply critical. Critical? What the hell? Computer, initiate emergency systems and set a course for the nearest space station. What part of critical did you not understand? Autopilot and emergency systems activated. Carbon dioxide scrubbers failing. Why would the why would the CO two scrubbers fail? It's like the easiest thing you can do. Exactly. Well, I need it. Please send me bacon cheeseburgers in the future. Entering secure orbit of Var Astra. Is 
What a beautiful old ship, and it seems to be intact. Wait a minute, I'm reading a life form signature. He appears hungry. Another good reason to take it home for closer examination. <laughs> Another skull for my wall. <laughs> my trophy, my trophy shelf is going to have so much fun with this one. What happened? Uh, finally awake. But I'm afraid you'll have to tell me what happened. Where am I? Who are you? Take it easy. You're on Farhastra mining station. My name is Gunant Bray. Farhastra? I've never heard of it. What happened to my ship? The whole propulsion system is beyond repair. Seems like you had quite a party out there. Damn. Now what am I gonna do without a ship? Hey, I'm a busy ore trader. If you work for me, maybe we can figure something out that'll benefit us both. You're just lucky the voids didn't pick you up floating in space. Or the noids. The voids? Who are the voids? The you void, the noid. Where are you from, boy? These creatures are raiding the Mido system more and more. Mido system? What are you talking about? I've never heard of that either. I was trying to get to Eden Prime. Eden Prime? Ha! <laughs> you're funny. That's the other end of the galaxy. I guess you'll need to work for me for a while if you're trying to buy passage all the way to Eden Prime. Oh, of course. Trader, huh? More like scrap collecting extortionist. It's up to you. Either you help me out with the ore mining, or you can go back to floating in space. It's that simple. I can't afford to feed you for nothing. A ship with a mining laser is already waiting for you. Without weapons, of course, in case you get any ideas. Now, get to work. You've been lying around long enough. Seems like I've no other choice. Toad face. Hit the green button in the lower right to leave the station and begin mining. All right. I will do these things. This part I have played. So this this part I am at least somewhat familiar with. And if I piece of junk is ready to fall apart at any moment. Not even the date panel is working properly. No problem. What exactly do you want? Sorry. It used to be a pirate ship. And she still does an outstanding job. Now you gotta prove you're worthy to fly the old girl. No problem. What exactly do you want me to do? Head out to the asteroids and mine at least 10 tons of ore before you come back to the station. Okay, got it. Skip dialogue. Let's do this. Let us do this. Actually, that asteroid's a lot bigger over there. So we're going to lock on to it. And we're going to speed time up a bit. Okay. And I'm going to collect, rather than just collecting 10, I'm going to collect the full 25, because I don't have to do much with this mining laser that he gives us. Blah, blah, blah. Keep it in the middle. Got it. Wow, this actually doesn't have a whole lot on it. Maybe I only will do 10. full load but close enough I guess close enough let's go back to the station let's hit our tab key to fast forward and hopefully get past this first beginning part relatively quickly welcome back that wasn't so bad now I need you to go back and bring me a full cargo load of ore this time again you ungrateful son of a careful boy I'm the one giving the orders if you get the job done, I might even let Betty keep you. Wow. That'd be a dream come true. Oh, a comedian as well, eh? Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not an alien. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a comedian myself. <laughs> All right, let's go do this. Some more mining. It's perhaps the shape of things to come here. 
There's a reason I'm doing this as a live stream, and it's not for my own health. <laughs> you know how it works now. Because I know there's going to be a lot of downtime. Right, grab this guy, and... Ooh, it's a good one. Yeah, different asteroids, blah, 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 I got it. Stick with it, and they'll stick with you. Okay. It doesn't really feel like my mouse movements are actually really working as far as keeping this in the center here, but whatever. I only need 25. And there it is. Oh, great. There's a pirate approaching, and I'm unarmed. Hurry, boy! Get back to the station! Activate the autopilot! Alright, Q2, tab, can't do, well, I'm not that far away from the station anyway. Yeah, hurry, he says, as I you take 20 it. shots. These pirates are a real pest sometimes. I don't risk leaving the dock when they're around. Getting nervous, eh? Give me some weapons and I'll teach them a few manners. Hey, it's not my job to talk you out of a suicide run. But if you want to go and get rid of their hideout, that'd help me a lot. Their raids are becoming more and more frequent. Sounds better than mining asteroids. Great. I'll grant you access to the hangar. Go and get yourself a weapon and some armor plating. I'm going to prepare my ship, too. Let's see if you know how to fight. Let's see if you know how to fight. Probably not. Given that I usually play this game on easy. But let's see how we how we work here. Let's grab the micro gun, blah blah blah. Put that on the ship. We'll grab some armor. Okay, come on. Put that on the ship. Go to our ship. We go here. We equip them. Good choice. Let's get moving. Okie dokie. So go back and go forward. Back and then forward. The buttons are slightly off because I have to, uh, I'm running it in a windowed mode, but I'm, I have a, uh, a script running that does borderless window. Up, boy. The waypoints lead us to the pilot's hideout. Better stay right behind me. So it's, uh, it kind of throws it off a little bit. Uh, it throws off the buttons, that is, a little bit. The hot, hot keys. The hot spots on the buttons, I mean. I have to kind of hit the top of the tops of the buttons, or else it doesn't register. Speaking of speeding up time here a little bit, mayhaps it would be so kind as to speed this up a bit. Do 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 Lines in space. Oh, here we go. Damn! There are a lot more pirates than I expected. Let's Damn! Get here. Damn! You're right in my way, dude. Or I would, I'd help out a little no bit. Way. The party's just starting. All right, trying to, trying to strafe as much as I can. All the strafing shall be had. That bastard. There we go. There we go. All right. Ooh. Well, that was a weird. That was a weird. <laughs> Felt like the camera was unhinged for a minute there. All right. Just let me shoot you in the butt. Come on. Come on. Just a few more shots. There we go. This other guy is still coming in for some reason because he's stupid. There we go. That was close, boy. Where did you learn to fight like that? I served in the space fleet under Admiral Smith. It's been a while, though. Admiral Smith? That's a long time ago. You don't look that old. Uh, thanks, I guess. Why would I? Let's just get back to the station. All right. Let's just get back to the station. Uh, can I, like, pick stuff up? No? Yes, no? 
No, yes, no. Okay, whatever. Whatever, back to the station do we go. Speedy up. Speed up and get back there. Probably go right through that asteroid. <laughs> Thank you for that, autopilot. I appreciate it. <laughs> Impressive fight, boy. I guess I owe you one. Admiral Smith would have been proud of you. Yeah, I'm sure he would. He still owes me money for the last assignment. I was just on my way to see him before you found me. Hmm. Good luck trying to get money from a dead man. Dead? Yes, dead. Died of old age. Everyone's number comes up eventually. What? When did he die? Some years ago now. 3612, I think. 3612? That can't be. What year is it now? You're a strange one, all right. It's 3624 by the Terran calendar, and from the looks of things, it's going to be the year of the voids. And here I wanted it to be the year of the noids. Uh, okay. Sure. We have time travel. Stunned to discover, 35 years have passed since the incident in the asteroid belt. We also wish to see had Taco ship, Bell. And a malfunction in the hyperdrive engine was most likely the cause for Keith's journey through time and space. He shows Keith Thank you, Captain Obvious. for defeating the pirates by giving him Betty as a gift. Now equipped with a more powerful drive, allowing him to travel to other planets within the same star system. As promised, Betty is yours. Take good care of her. Well, she needs a bit of work, that's for sure. Anyway, thanks for your help. Just one thing. The mining laser you've been using is a prototype I built myself. The only one of its kind. I can't give it to you, but I installed another one. With a little practice, you'll be able to make a few credits mining asteroids on your journey. Thanks, and you can call me Keith. Keith T. Maxwell. My pleasure, Keith. One more thing. A friend of mine, Norris Bernard, is the commander of Kernstal, also a station of the Medo Confederation. Why don't you pay him a visit? He might be able to help you get to Eden Prime. That's a good place to start. Thanks, Gunant. But what is this Medo Confederation exactly? This entire system is Medo territory. Perhaps you'd better ask Norris. He can tell you more about it. Good luck, boy. Uh, I mean, Keith. Now use the star map to visit other planets within the system. Travel to Kernstall Station and meet Captain Norris Bernard. Okay. So, first things first. Do I have... I have no credits, right? But I can grab this if I want to. Just for sake of argument. And I wonder if I can put that on the secondary weapons. No, it's considered a primary weapon. All right, well, whatever. No biggie. Let's go to the missions. Plan and click it again to target it. You'll then leave the station on your autopilot. We'll set course, blah, blah, blah. All right. Turn on stall. And that's just the key. All right. We shall travel there right now. See what they need me to do. I'm sure he's not going to talk to me until I put a whole bunch of, I guess, a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> into uh, into other things. Larger boxes in, or smaller boxes into larger boxes. Mining asteroids. You know, typical things. Oh, we are not on autopilot anymore. Right, Kernstall Station. Speed us up. And away we go. Keith T. Maxwell, I'm Captain Bernard, commander of Kernstall. It's a pleasure to meet you. Gunan told me what happened. You must be pretty confused right now. Yeah, You're why is there a kidding. clown in, in command? Jumping time and space, that's something. Tell me about this Medo Confederation. I've never heard of it. Well, you have missed a lot in the past 35 years. The Mido system is located in a sector of the galaxy that has only recently been discovered. We retreated here at the beginning of the Nivellian Civil War, when the Mido Confederation of Planets was founded. We tried to avoid contact with other systems as much as possible. So Mido is a confederation of Terran and Nivellian rebels and outlaws founded during the Nivellian Civil War? You could say that. We declared our independence, which the Terrans accepted, but the Nivellians still claim Mido as their territory. That's why there are still conflicts in the outer reaches of the system. I see. Gunant told me you might be able to help me get back to Terran territory. I could arrange that, but in return, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Which of course. Is, it could be risky, 
we lost contact with Ir al Gadai, one of our space stations. They could just be having problems with their communication system, but we need to be just having a party. Check. So it could also be the Novellians, pirates, or something else that's behind it, right? That's why we need someone who's willing to take the risk. An experienced fighter pilot like you. Just don't go getting into any pointless fights. I'm on my way. And then when I come back, you're going to explain to me why you dress up like the Joker on the weekends. All right. Um, yeah, might as well just go do the mission right now. I'm guessing I'm early enough that that's really what they want me to do. Two types of missions, story and freelance, you can get them both in the space lounge. Both are displayed in this window. Okay. Um, freelance story... Show on map. Okay. So if I go into... I can't go into the space lounge yet. Alright. Well, that answers that question. Uh, let's go to the map, though. Select this and uh, travel there. Auto travel. Autopilot. Well, the station's still here. That should count for something. And I guess we'll... Assuming I'm not completely lost, I should be at the right place. No sign of combat, and the station appears to be intact. I guess I'll dock and take a look around. Yeah, I'm already way ahead of you, dude. <laughs> Thanks for catching up on, on that one. Nobody here. Not even Novellians. Wait, I don't believe it. Mucked bucked. What the hell are you doing in this godforsaken place? Have we met before? Uh, Maxwell, is that you? Long time no see. You're just in time for our little party. I managed to ship in a load of premium neuroalgae from Apache. The crew here can't get enough of it. <laughs> Algae, eh? Sounds interesting. Does this stuff have any unpleasant side effects? We're literally having Not a party. Really. Some people have reported a bit of tentacle growth, but that's more of a benefit than a side effect. You mean tentacles on their face? Yeah. How did you know? Just a wild guess. But Keith, you've got to tell me why you still look so young. I know a lot of people who'd be interested in buying whatever it is you're using. You don't want to know. Tentacle growth is nothing compared to the side effects I'm having. Okay, Mucketbucked, I'll leave you with your new friends. See you around. Take care. And by the way, you can find me on Camo in the Shima system if you ever need something extra special. Oh, great. Brilliant. You got Out of all the rogues tentacle I could have porn? Run into, it had to be Muktabukt, the most notorious dealer in the galaxy. Neuroalgae. Hardly surprising no one's able to operate the intercom. Yeah, I would say so. There, <laughs> There's a party in their neurons and everyone's invited. Uh, yeah, show up at that other place and get Lord knows what. Uh, so I'm guessing no one's in the lounge that would be <laughs> worth my time. So let's go missions again. What do I gotta do? Uh, return back to Norris, which he was, he was where? Kernstall, okay. Go there. Let's please travel. It's all a lot of, uh, a lot of fast travel right now <laughs> is what is what we seem to be in in the midst of but that is kind of the uh that is kind of the thing with open world games right it's like oh you got all this stuff to explore but really uh we want you to just shuttle between similar places install station Maxwell, good to see you again. What did you find out? Looks like the crew of Erdl Gadal is completely wasted. Thanks to Mukitabukt. The dealer? Unbelievable. Is it serious? I'm sure they'll crawl their way back to normality eventually. But I suggest you take the crew to a detox center after they're back on their feet. Or maybe a fish tank. Now, can you help me get back to Terran territory? Yes, of course. A Terran military convoy is heading for Cairnstall. That would be your best option. Sounds good. 
I'll contact you as soon as the convoy reaches the system. In the meantime, feel free to make use of the space lounge. You can probably pick up some work there. A good way to pass the time and earn a few extra credits. And I think I'll go have a chat with our friend Mukt Bukt. Mukt Bukt. <laughs> Mukt Bukt and Mukt Bukt. Uh, space lounge is now accessible. Good, I figured it might be at this point. So.